the covered pathway of productive learning in Eastern European countries, the international community of INEPS educators met in the Bulgarian city of Borgas, an exceptional setting on the southern coast of the Black Sea. A lovely city in which the emerging tourist industry and industrial activities are thriving alongside its great historical and cultural heritage as a result of the city's strategic location at the ancient crossroads between east and west. Borgas, a city that boasts both seas and sunshine, is the ideal place to hold the annual Congress of the International Network of Productive Learning Projects and Schools, INEPS. In this year, 2008, the Congress was particularly special since it was celebrating its 20th anniversary. And of course, it would not have been a proper celebration without a big cake, served at the welcome dinner prepared by our hosts for the first meeting of all participants. Borges Free University was the location chosen by the organizers for the most of the events during the Congress. A modern building in the center of the city full of young students whose energy and vitality was infectious. The opening ceremony began well, with lively dances performed by students from the Elin Pelin School, and this created a unique, warm atmosphere that continued throughout the entire Congress. Following this, the local authorities, representatives of the Bulgarian Ministry of Education and Science and of the European Parliament, the latter by means of a letter read aloud, welcomed the Congress participants, pledging their commitment to productive learning and expressing their support for the four schools that had just started to apply this educational methodology and were now hosting this Congress. Under the slogan, Change the Future, a presentation was given at the ceremony on the implementation of productive learning in all Bulgarian schools. One of the collaborators in this project, the project leader of the Regional Chamber of Handicrafts, took an active part in this presentation. Meanwhile, the president of INEPS and several other members expressed their gratitude for the warm welcome and introduced the theme of the Congress, which was individual vocational orientation in productive learning. The content of the different speeches referred to the situation faced by young people today in a challenging world and the opportunities that productive learning presents them with. And the other slogan that echoed throughout the room was, we will help you to fly. The Congress program listed six workshops, which took place in different schools in Borgas. The rotational timetable meant that participants could take part in three different workshops on three consecutive days. This type of organization allowed the participants to get involved in different subject areas as well as to visit different schools across the city. The workshops were aimed at analyzing the different aspects involved in the planning and developing of a productive learning project. Some focused on considering the strategies necessary for attracting and guiding teachers, parents and students in productive learning. It took into account the different possible types of students. Young people with learning disabilities, young people from different ethnic backgrounds and from complex social environments. The attitude, thoughts, experiences and expectations of each of the parties involved with regards to the new opportunity productive learning offers were the points to consider when deciding upon and designing the appropriate media 
and providing attractive, informative material to convince them of the value of this educational system. Another workshop was aimed at reflecting on and specifying the processes and tools that all productive learning teachers need to assist young people and give them support in vocational training. In other words, it explained how to guide them in the process of discovering their interests, how to make decisions and how to offer them a range of options for researching their chosen path. Two of the workshops merit special mention due to their practical focus. Through direct experience of artistic creation, be it using mud or paint brushes, the participants were able to test themselves in a process that involved searching for ideas, experimenting, creating and cooperating, which they found very satisfying. And the possible application of what was learned to educational work with young people were added the stimuli. On the last day of the Congress, the results and conclusions of the different workshops were presented in the liveliest way possible. To achieve this, resources such as theatrical performances, different media and large murals were used to supplement the explanations given by the teachers from each workshop. Encouraged by two teachers, German and Irish, a group of students of different ages from Ivan Bazov School became the stars of the youngest workshop, focused on the theme of youth exchange in productive learning. Their lively discussion generated a large number of different ideas, concerns and expectations. And in the end, the young people were able to evaluate the positive impact that productive learning could have on their lives and realized that they too could do something to ensure that the Bulgaria education system provides them with this power. As usual, the plenary sessions were held at the start and at the end of the Congress. These sessions were devoted to dealing with subjects related to the management and administration of the network, as well as to planning future actions. Moreover, at these sessions, new members were welcomed into this large family. During the plenary sessions, members were informed about the work carried out by the Administration Council during the meetings and throughout the year. Some members proposed new initiatives and everyone was able to discuss these issues. This year, for example, some of the time was given over to deciding when and where the next INEPS Youth Congress would be held and to discussing the need for some kind of online platform to allow members in different countries to keep in touch with one another and to share ideas. Another interesting topic was the possible stipulation at an international level of professional qualification standards for productive learning. A large number of ideas and possibilities were noted down in the minutes before the close of the final session, which was also used to thank the organizers for their hospitality and all their hard work. As a token of gratitude, a red rose was presented, a symbol of the passion needed to embark on productive learning. To ensure that the participants went home with wonderful memories of Bulgaria, they were also able to enjoy a relaxing and refreshing day at the Nezevar Peninsula, a region where its thousand-year-old history with its churches, ruined fortresses and Roman walls contrasts with the amazing luxury tourist complex on the shores of the Black Sea. Nezevar is a kind of oasis 
where past and present coexist with the same harmony as the wind, sun and sea. A sea into which only the bravest individuals dare to dive, the rest being happy to play among the golden sand dunes. And so the Congress came to an end with the same happy, colorful dances performed by the children and young people who, in one way or another, were present throughout the Congress, be it in the schools, at the Congress headquarters, or at the workshop. On the last night of INEP's 20th Congress, the natural enthusiasm of these youngsters was seen to combine magically with that of those who were no longer such spring chickens. An enthusiasm that year after year has led this teaching community to meet in different locations across the world in order to unite in their fight to spread productive learning throughout the old domain of the traditional educational system very resistant to change, even when absolutely necessary. Together, they share a journey of continuous growth and evolution, which, in a few months' time, is due to lead them into the European Year of Creativity and Innovation, both priorities of modern society and also fundamental principles of productive learning. Congratulations to Ines, and here's to the future of productive learning in the United States in 1972. In the early 80s, a delegation from Berlin came to view this new experiment in uh, productive education. They liked what they saw, and then they decided to bring it to Berlin, where they founded the Stadt al Schule, which just this year celebrated its 20th anniversary. Out of those two small sites has grown INEPS, the International Network of Productive Schools. And we now have an organization that spans many of the countries in Europe. I have been fortunate enough to be at all of the INEPS Congresses and had the good fortune to see how it has grown from that small sea. Hopefully it will continue to grow as we spent this year in Bulgaria, which was our first visit here. And we are looking for new sites all over Europe. And I am certainly glad to be a part of it, even though I'm getting a little bit old for this. Επειδή οι άνθρωποι φτιάχνουν την ιστορία και επειδή οι άνθρωποι φτιάχνουν τα πάντα, πιστεύω πολύ στου ανθρώπου που γνώρισα μέσα στον ΙΝΕΠΣ και ελπίζω να συναντώ συνέχεια ανθρώπου. Der Reichtum dieses Netzwerkes liegt in der Vielfalt, der Kreativität und den Erfahrungen seiner Mitglieder, die an einer gemeinsamen Idee arbeiten. Ich möchte, dass produktives Lernen international zu einem Bildungsangebot wird, das jeder Schüler, egal an welchem Schultyp er ist, sich wünschen kann, sich aussuchen kann. Ich wünsche dem Netzwerk, dass es seinen großen, großartigen Gemeinschaftssinn behält und ihn weitergibt an neue Mitglieder, an weitere Mitglieder, dass es auch seine Vielfalt sich bewahrt im Hinblick. 20 Jahre Ehe, INEPS und PL 
Ich wünsche euch noch viele, viele, viele glückliche und vor allem erfolgreiche Kinder. Terve vaan kaikki INEPS perheenjäsenet. Minun mielestäni oikeastaan kaikissa koulutusjärjestelmissä on mahdollisuuksia joko. Mulla on yksinkertaisena ihmisenä ainoastaan yksi toive INEPSille. Ja se on se, että kaikki maksaisivat jäsenmaksunsa ajallaan, ei rahan vuoksi. Els meus desitjos per a la xarxa INEPS van en la línia d'un més eh, gran creixement en benefici de futurs educadors i alumnes. Jag hoppas att ideen om att lärande, det allra bästa lärande ofta sker utanför skolans väggar kommer att... Is that it's going to grow and prosper right around the world so that all of the young people can really, really benefit. It's very... Дорогие друзья, наша делегация из России рада... Мы рады, что все наши впечатления, все высокие результаты... Моята мечта е продуктивното обучение да намери своето място и в Бургас, в България и заедно с всички хора от Европа, от продуктивните училища в Европа,